Okay, we up. Uh, y'all, I'm sorry I ain't been dropping no videos, man. I just got out the hospital. I can't catch a break these past two months, for real. Um, and yes, I, I did just get out the hospital. So, I'm not going to show everything so y'all get my ID and shit. Can you see that? No, you can't see it. Oh, fuck. Can you see that? Oh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so, like, I'm really, really trying to get back to the grind. The algorithm will kick me out, so, like, I gotta go hard on it. But, uh... Bro, sick of cells suck. That's all I'm gonna say. But, um... Let's, uh, get into this video. And, uh... I gotta get back to the grind. I gotta get back to the grind. I gotta start pushing out these weak reaction. No, they're not weak. But we gotta do get back on the reaction videos. I'm blabbering, bruh. Uh <laughs> I'm all over the place. I I gotta get back in the zone. So these first couple of videos back gonna be weird. Been sick for like two weeks. Yeah, when did I um the last video I posted, that was an old video. If y'all can, if y'all go back and see those videos, y'all can, uh, like the last three videos, y'all can probably tell I was like out of it. I was hurting, trying to like force myself to record. I couldn't even do that no more. But uh, this video is called "Guess Reveals How Black Women." Oh wait, time out. If y'all hear my fan on my computer, bro, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know if it's like a screw done came off and it's grinding the fan or the fan loose or something. I got to take this computer apart and fix it. I got to get a whole new keyboard for it anyway, like a, the laptop keyboard and stuff. But still, if y'all hear that, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I can't do nothing to fix it. Like, it'll cut off sometimes. Like, it like when I first turn the computer on, it's silent and then after a while it gets rampant so i don't know if y'all can hear it but it's very loud for me hopefully my mic ain't picking it up though but anyway let's get back to the video enough rambling this is called guess reveals how black women are the cause of pain in the black men i have not seen this but uh we gotta get on we gotta get on the reaction stuff gotta gotta get gotta get injected back into the algorithm and i don't miss so much i gotta catch up on so much shit but anyway more videos for y'all i guess so uh we finna just get to it and uh let's go from there carry a tool y'all forgotten <laughs> Black men are forgotten, but you have to remember we are dismantled mm -hmm. as a race. Men and women, we, we, we've been dismantled, so some things come with that. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all been ripped out of our household. What you think I'm supposed to do? All I could do is be strong. So when I meet you, I'm guarded. Everything, all my struggles, everything I've been through, when you meet me, that's what you're meeting me with. So it's, mm -hmm. are you really going to... Uh, are you gonna try to figure me out as the black man who understands what black women go through? No. And you come through. You come. You, you come with some Use shit it too. against me. You, All right. So for context, I don't know if y'all know this, but back when they first started the uh, what is it called the uh, government assistance programs, they came knocking on houses, telling black women. That if you know if something was happened to the husband or the husband's outside the home, they would start getting the checks. You know what I'm saying? Like the money to take care of the kids and whatnot. And you got to think back then. You know, black men didn't get very many high-paying jobs like they do now. Or and then on top of that, you got to also remember that you know this the 60s and 70s you know what I'm saying coming out of the uh the war you know what I'm saying folks coming home they're not getting their war benefits and stuff still you know how they treat black men and so you got you gotta remember black women most of them was tired of struggling you know what I'm saying is it right no of course not none of this shit is right but that's how 
if if you want to know why the black family is just such a disarray in today's times you got to go back to the root cause of it and yes a lot of it you know still stems from slavery they always wanted to break us up bro when when black people realize how many, how much power we hold when we're unified as a as just a race as itself when black people understand how powerful we are in general oh my gosh so much so much is so much will change so much like bro we went from having black wall street and they t and they burnt that shit down you know there was little bitty there was little uh black towns in these major cities because black folks was owning their own and growing their own and they didn't want us to have shit so once they destroyed all our shit then they came to the black women and was like we'll pay you some a little some some and you got to think back then the 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 uh the checks they was getting from government assistance and wick and all the food stamps and all this stuff that shit add up that was a chunk of change back then versus you know getting the same amount of money they was getting back then now that shit ain't nothing so um and my skin look good i look healthy as hell bro that's what a good hospital visit do man my doctor put me on the good drugs bro had that sick of seven get get gone bro oh my god anyway let me oh wow but anyway uh no the sickle cells did not go away by the way i still have sickle cells but the pain they made sure that shit was geek you know what i'm saying took that shit out for real this time the last doctor i had last month that nigga was not helping a brother bro but anyway um uh, so when black folks started getting on government assistance it was like they basically was teaching them the more kids you get the more money you get and the husband ain't gotta be in the house so they systematically started destroying the black family and when they seen that work now you starting to see you know other races get the same thing but it uh, they they test everything and do everything to us first you know what i'm saying and it's sad as fuck bro how uh i'm trying to think it's better it's sad as fuck how you know so many things that the united states have done so much to black people and they won't take accountability for shit you know what i'm saying and it's just like on top of that though you still can't you still gotta put more put blame still on us because even though they seen this even though they saw that a lot of those black women folded bro and that's fucked up you know so most like some black women you know when it first started a lot of majority of black women held strong to their husband they through thick and thin they gone they got they getting out the mud but over time they, that shit started weakening and weakening and weakening and weakening then by the 90s bro late 80s early 90s bro you start you seen the start of like the real single parent household like that was the real start of the single parent household and then when the 90s when they created that term baby daddy and baby mother oh man like they didn't even have that term they didn't even have the term baby moms and baby father or baby dad back in like 60s and 70s and shit like that you know what i'm saying that's a new term that got created from this shit and so it's just like you know when people try to have these deeper conversations they'll throw it on the good like the good, a government but at the same time we still gotta put fault and blame on ourselves and then you also got to look at like how a lot of women would just pick the pookies and ray rays knowing that they're not going to commit but they look good for the moment you know they feel good for the moment they can have that baby and then it's just a cycle so they know they're going to get with a dude that ain't going to commit to them for real because if they get with a man that actually like comes with them as a man and, and, and hold them accountable it's all all hell gonna break loose you know what i'm saying and you're not gonna trap that man like you're gonna get pookie and rare because pookie and rare don't think with they third lid you know what i'm saying 
not the not the brain up top but the brain down below and i'm not gonna say like you know it it, it get convoluted and it is really fucked up but it's the truth you know what i'm saying and until like my people can sit down with one another and just like acknowledge what then happened to us acknowledge like the cycles that we go through and then can move forward nothing's ever gonna change because women are gonna still date pookies and ray rays and we're expecting them to be the good man that men want to like me men keep you should pick better and stuff but they're gonna only pick the pookies and ray rays or the top 20 percent of men that's fucking everybody when they get heartbroken and get pregnant by that man then they're gonna blame all black all men when you only dealing with the same 20 percent and you gonna blame all 100 percent of men that we ain't shit but you only deal and sit and look at it and visibly talk to 20 percent it's and it's and it's just and it's so fucked up because they don't see what's going on until it's too late and then pookie they expect pookie and Ray Ray to change they never gonna change and then they gonna get looked down upon by the 80 percent of men that they've been snoozing on chasing after pookie and Ray Ray. but then when they want a good man to take care of them they expect the 80 percent of men that got decent jobs to take care of their own got their shit together to accept them they kid and all their baggage and stuff but then be hostile to that man because of all the trauma and drama that Pookie and Ray Ray put them through. It's fucked up, bro. It's it's sad. And I hate seeing these conversations because... Get up there. Get up there. Yeah. I hate seeing these conversations because they get nowhere. Because you got, on one side, you got women and their emotions and they're not look they don't care about logic they just going out their feelings and how they feel that's the law to them and it's sad like it's just a cycle and it just hurts my it hurts my heart like going through all this but let's uh let's continue because that's I, what I just I, did and i and i no, i feel i feel like it's flip i feel like men are sympathetic towards you know certain black women situations right no and then and then some no. women, some women take, no. take advantage no. of that and when it's like when a guy cheats on a woman and she lets him cheat on him you know he's gonna do it again so when a man is all oh, sympathetic oh and you know being patient and that woman like oh fuck out my face those be the women i know y'all know females that be Just having me, that, there be is, there, yeah, yeah it, that is true there is but it's, it's you can, you, can meet, you can meet a woman that could give you the same perspective you understand what i'm saying I, that's why i'm like is the dismantlement of us mm. is it goes right back to that there's no way i can know how to be feminine when i've been robbed of the man that's supposed to give me my at least cater to my femininity no you're supposed to be you're supposed to know how to be feminine from birth your mother instills that into you you know what i'm saying your father instills that to you um no man is supposed to come into a female's life and teach her how to be a female that's insane and that's part of the disconnect right there that's the logic that like that that that's illogical bro that's ill i'm supposed to come like you want a man to come into your life and teach you but then you're gonna be combative because you're gonna think he's trying to change you this then the third no like it's it's a it's a cycle like as a woman but i'm soft with men you. as masculine masculine creatures can't teach a woman how no, to be feminine no, 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 yeah. what i just said <laughs> Yes, can. you can. Yes, you can. You can't teach us how to be feminine, me. but you can handle me. More better than a woman hair. could. Hear me out. I'm no, naturally you can handle feminine. me. I'm naturally you feminine, me, right? right? No, you're not. Yeah, Listen, right. as a woman, I'm supposed to be naturally you feminine. Wanna, you you want to be We got to handle the world, and now we got to come home and handle our life. A woman, bro? Like, yeah, so why do you want to be by yourself? So when why I got, when we get date outside our race and be with women that's going naturally they, they, they be submissive? They haven't faced what we faced. Yeah. They haven't faced what we faced. So there's no way you could even compare the two. 
We struggle day in, day out as black yes, women, I, black men. I agree. We I struggle agree. day in, day I agree out. With that. So every time, even right now, this conversation we have, we bump in heads because of the things that we went through and the different perspectives. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We have been dismantled. Okay. Understand that and, and realize yeah. that. Hold on. Mm -hmm. It is our responsibility to do different and change certain things because we are in control of ourselves mm -hmm. and right. what we, you know. That's but you still have to remember, we're dealing with it. That's right. We're still dealing with the, 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 the past and certain things that we, as people, mm -hmm. have to go through. Mm -hmm. So, yes, as a man, when you meet me, I might come off a little bit strong, but it's your responsibility as a black man to try to understand me. I, I but, think... But, hold right. on, let me ask oh. you a question. You said that society robbed you of your femininity, right? Yeah. Black men and black women are supposed to be in this together, right? So why, when black men approach black women, you're supposed to already understand that I'm that man for you. You feel me? Like Why? Because we we going through you, it together. Yeah, you should just I, say yeah, we going through I, it together. I, 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 I agree. And, so, and, so when I approach you, you should know that I'm that soldier for you, coming to you. Mm -hmm. Like, why I got to prove myself? Like, I'm no, like... It's not you got to prove yourself. As soon as Tom or Jose come up to you, that's a different Okay. That is true. I've seen so many females. They be mean as fuck, aggressive, hateful towards a black dude. As soon as another race coming to they come in front of them or spit some game to, but just say hey to them, they smile and they soft spoken. It's crazy to switch up that they do when it comes to other, and they don't even act, they don't even understand it. They, but and that's what I'm saying, like. The wiring now is so triggering between us that when a black man approaches a black woman, they are so hostile. It's sad, bro. It's so sad. And I DJ and I see this shit. I see it. I'm in the club, bro. I see this shit. I'm at the bar. I'm seeing this shit. I'm at the wedding. I see this shit, bro. This shit is sad, bro. I'm at the cons. I see this shit, bro. So not common. The, I the do people, not agree the with people that. that should have to prove it to you, like the white guys, are the one that's that's Benefit. inspiring the, the femininity. I know y'all see the white guys in the club. They do this little turkey dance. I'm like, oh, go mm -hmm. dance on time. I don't, I don't, Look, that's listen. A, it's a fact. Y'all, y'all, y'all could act like it don't happen. But once a black man come try to talk, you get Yo. a break. Get out my face. Because a black man is how more how, of exactly. How many times? How many times? What we doing? How the same time? dance time doing, but with rhythm. <laughs> no. How many times? How many times a white guy come up to you and you put on your 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 your, your oh hey hi hey, boy? You and then hey, when, hey, a, when a black guy approach you, what's up? You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Like, as yeah. soon as he approaches no, you, it don't, your no, no, I don't know. Yo, as soon as he approaches you, no. your femininity exudes. But when a black man approaches you, he got to prove it in order for that to is, come out. Yeah. You I don't me? agree with that. Like, I don't. I don't. He's speaking. That's how she know. He, anytime they, I don't agree with that, that, he's speaking facts, bro. And then, like, and this is the thing about shit like this, bro. How come every man, every man can say the same thing and they still don't agree, bro? And they know they be doing that, bro. Yeah, keep speaking. I don't, yeah. I speaking I don't, I don't yeah. agree with that. I love my black men. I love, yeah. I love, I love, I love black men. But you understand what I'm saying, though. I'm from a black man. Ain't no I got a black brother. Mm -hmm. I have a black boyfriend. I have friends with black sons. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, black but tell me you don't understand me. what I'm saying. That you no, know I, what I'm saying. All right, I have a question for y'all. Mm. Y'all have black mothers? Of course. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, black fathers? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What? How would y'all feel had... Whatever y'all black fathers probably went through with your mom not being submissive for, or whatever the I, I, hell. I see my mother probably, be spiteful to my father probably, for no reason, telling him yeah. I was going to We got to stop using his mother. You really for no reason? You, there's shit that goes on that you wouldn't know. Yeah, well, but I mean, they don't tell the kids everything. Look, look, but telling your son you that he's going to... You don't know what your father no, no, no. didn't okay, put look, your mother through. True, right? True, right? You would you never say, we don't know what my mother put my father through. Exactly. Your mom your heart No, 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 but you're, you're already being one-sided because I watched it. You are. I never heard my father... Disrespect my mother at all in my mm -hmm. life, no matter what she put him through. Yet okay. my mom told me said, told me to tell my father I was going to get him deported if he come to this house. <laughs> he brought me numerous shit. Throw, throw it on now the this floor. This is real shit. This is, no, made me do this shit in front no, of this, no. this man. Mm -hmm. I speak to him now. He yeah, like, you know, I know how your mother is. You know, I never, my, my, I never seen, out of all that shit, my father never raised his hand on her. Or I never did none of this shit. He just left. I, there are I'm good men out here. There are good black I'm not men out here. My father yeah. was good. No, but he never disrespected her. He like I get it. Yeah, but okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You, you, think, you think her rage, all of that, just like came out of nowhere? Yeah, but you're assuming. But you, you're not, like, you're no, assuming. I'm not. I'm not saying. Hey, I'm not time, saying. Time, really, he just said. Really he's not saying that he was great, but he's he's gonna say he he didn't disrespect her. Okay, he didn't disrespect her, but y'all have to understand that woman's mouth. That's our weapon. 
You see, like how men, that's our men. weapon. Oh, okay. Against weapon. any man, no, why are you just so no, 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 What was that experience? No, 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 okay, so you, thing, you have a white girlfriend. Really, really quickly. What, how would you feel <laughs> no. your father walks out and say, fuck y'all, no. fuck the family, it's, fuck look, the kids, look. fuck everything. But why are you assuming woman? that the father said why, that, though? Why, why, no, why, I'm yeah. saying. Why would a mother would you, put you their so, child in that in that predicament yeah. to break the bond so, between their father, their black father? Yeah, that's messed up. That's why I have a son I would never. Let me tell you something. Women are responsible for a lot of hurt in black men. Yeah. Women, that, that's women. What I'm I, I say because, I agree because women I are. I mean, the I kids agree. are raised in the household with the mom. Exactly. Now yeah, they get a physical representation of mommy, and they get they assume or build the image of what it's like to be with daddy. But mm-hmm. mommy's responsible for their environment, what they see, what they feel, and what they hear. Mothers, when I say this is personal, we scene. make you guys. Mothers are literally mm-hmm. the 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 root of oh, a lot yeah. of the problems that yeah, men, of men that have with yeah. men. Yeah, the mothers. So I agree mommy with issues. You. They Israel. may be traumatized as well, but yeah, but they, they it, it's, it's messed yeah, up. It's exactly. messed up. I've seen it. That's I've, what I've I'm seen it. It's really messed Usually up. And mothers don't just give off that energy onto their children for no reason. It be real. But it no, no, it's not okay. It's not okay. I don't. Yeah, it don't. It's two different relationships. It's your father, and then it's whether it was your husband. It's your husband, and then it's the it's the child's father. Those two relationships have nothing to do with each other. You can't put the child as a part. But this is but this is this is what I want to say real quick. Like I'll just get personal personal with myself. I like have I feel like these conversations are a point in our community because. Obviously, the women are frustrated, the black women are frustrated, and then the black men are frustrated. Right. So, yeah. of course, we're going to have disagreements, but we need to have these conversations. And just to go back on, like, just the thing about toxic mothers. Like, I, I was raised by an aunt. She was abusive. You know, I was, my mom, she was on drugs. She gave me away. Like, these are two black women in my life mm-hmm. that caused arguably the most damage to me as a man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, we can't just sit in there and act like mothers is, I appreciate mothers and they do work hard. And it's easy, and I know lately it's been easy to just blame the, the father for not being there. But we got to take some accountability at the yeah, end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah, they don't. Some, yeah. They don't. They do. don't make it easy. Like I my said, my mother told me she ain't like me because I look like the nigga. So yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and that's not okay. No, like it's not. Like that's not okay. That's why I'm like, as men, when y'all even show up to us, y'all like literally like y'all mothers are kind of there with y'all when y'all show up to us. That's all of that is still right there, and a lot of men don't. They don't go to therapy before they start relationships and try to... Right. A lot of us haven't even seen a healthy relationship to even try to have one. Yeah. Right. So then we right. wing the shit. We have a whole blueprint. Or we don't have the blueprint, but we try to create we our think own of blueprint. What we, we're looking yeah. on TV right. to yeah. see what And then I feel like as men, like, yeah. you guys don't have a large support system like women do. We have our homegirls. We yeah. have other women to look at. Men, yeah. men, yeah. Don't, men yeah. don't have that. And then they don't feel as safe with their friends to even divulge like, yo, I'm going through this. Like, yeah. they don't. I agree. Men go. have it way they harder. Have it, y'all have it so hard. Yeah, you guys have it Way harder than women. Like, I we say it all the back. time. We could bounce back. We are literally made to bounce back as women. This is why we are your mental strength. Yeah, but that's why, like I said, I like I love this conversation. But I hate the the gaslighting and yo, you must have a white girlfriend. No, I'm fr- I, I love black women, but as a black man, I can be. I'm allowed to be frustrated with what I see with certain. No, black I agree, women. especially so, with your past. Instead of saying yo, yeah. you hate your mother. Yeah, she was. They they are gaslighting them. Like that's a fact. And like they keep going every time they make a point. Have you noticed that the females go around the question and stuff? They dodge and everything. Or do you even love black women? No, L- listen to me. You know what I mean? Understand what I'm frustrated with. Mm-hmm. And then I can listen to you and then we can have to come, we come to a compromise. Yeah, you know I agree. Like, because like your trauma like definitely supports your reasoning. Like, you didn't deserve that kind of trauma, but it mm-hmm. happens. Mm-hmm. I have a son. I, my son is in a two-parent home. Me and my child father is together. Yeah. Today and tomorrow, we don't know what's going to happen. But to say I'm going to use my child and be like, oh, yeah, no, no. I want my child to get the best of both worlds. I can't be a man. Mm -hmm. I have a man. Mm -hmm. I'm raising a man. I can only nurture him. But the man Mm -hmm. part, I can't give him. So I'll be depriving my child Mm -hmm. by trying to be bitter. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. that's the generational curses that we have to break. Like, we can't be bitter. Exactly. Because we're only depriving the child. Whether the relationship is working or not. Working but, but or not. historically speaking, it's not... It's and that goes for men and women, because don't yeah. get it right. There's some men that will give you a hard time. So it's like, all of these topics that you're saying, it's vice versa. It comes from men and women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both have flaws. Yeah, they both, both, yeah. Have flaws. Flaws. Okay, that's fair. Because yeah. when you meet people, you meet them with their experiences. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, 
let's Keem, let's get into this last topic and then we're gonna have to get up out of here real quick. Um yeah. You said I got so many, I don't even know which one. I don't even know which one. Having there from I said do two. Alright, um do y'all think that women use sex to get what they want? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Next yeah. time, yeah. 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 Pum, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's, That's a fact. <laughs> and it works. It works. It Dude, works. y'all niggas got to stop being stupid out here. Yo, we got dicks. They want yeah. us too, idiots. Yes. No, <laughs> not as bad as let, let them, want us. Fellas, let them wait, okay? No, you are no. the price too. I can't. Yo, Drew, I'm going to be honest. You are the price I can't necessarily too. agree with you on that because <laughs> women got so many want. toys nowadays. They got other women nowadays. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. Yo, like, I'm telling you, if we all stay united. And you know what I'm saying? Even if going straight, it, even if a, 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 a shorty <laughs> wants you to smash, she got a man. We all gotta stand united. Yo, we gotta give up. No some more than. Uh, that was a straight video. The, I feel like the the women were dodging a lot of the the questions and stuff on here, which is typical. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, and Jay, what are you doing? Bro? She just wanna be. In my skin. What? Anyway, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Uh, these conversations do need to happen, and uh, people, everybody needs to take accountability for real. I do wish my people would heal and and you know start growing slowly. You know, what I'm saying it's not gonna happen overnight, but. We gotta start somewhere. We gotta start somewhere. And we gotta start, we gotta stop glamorizing like all the negativity and stuff that goes on in the culture. But uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all later in the next one. Peace out.